friends this is the analysis of the poem saras cranes this poem is about true love of pair of saras cranes this poem is written by manmohan singh singh is a punjabi poet known for his love for birds friends let's start the analysis of the poem Two pair of saras cranes is a heart touching poem written by Manmohan Singh a Punjabi poet friends first let's look at the first stanza of the poem the male was shot as it necked to pull the reluctant sun out from the rim of horizon my dear friends It's time to go for analysis. The poet depicts cruel nature of a bird hunter. They didn't care about the feeling of the cranes. They acted heartless towards the pair of cranes. The hunter shot down the male bird when it was flying out joyfully. The hunter shot down the bird when it was flying high. He didn't give it a chance to escape. Let's move on. She flew crying as he was picked up hands and jaws. A proud neck was humbled to lie like a dirty linen in a coarse washing bag. Let's see its analysis. The helpless female bird flew crying around the spot. They put him in a coarse bag like a dirty linen without caring it. His proud neck was humbled by a cowardly act which they did. Let's move to next stanza. She circled the sky in moments of grace. his disgraceful end the killers went away and she returned to the death scene you can see the poet expressing his pain at that scene the female bird circled round the death scene in graceful movements she felt very bad at it it was a disgraceful end for a graceful bird like male crane she couldn't control her pain she returned to the scene after the cruel hunter went away with his carcass they put him like a dirty linen linen Let's move to next stanza with grief that inscribed its intensity in darts and pits like the morse code of birds of sorrow transmitted to the air let's analyze the poem that stanza the fault the bird felt heartbroken the bird became disillusioned it lost its partner forever that she couldn't control herself its grief transmitted into the air like morse code it was helpless and being alone she couldn't express her properly how can she with that pain let's move to next stanza with her beak She kissed a few feathers that once that wind had not taken away and sat to hatch the blood stained feather into a toddling chick the bird lost its partner for the rest of the life the bird kissed the feather which are not carried away by the wind Yes. 
she sat on the blood stained feathers to hatch she was desperate and felt alone she was thoughtless it was a desperate attempt to revive him into chicks which is not going to happen let's move to next stanza a wave of the seas she had never seen to her from afar away and carried her to him she went away beyond hume's words and the legends and fables of human love meanwhile the grief ridden female trying to console herself saw a monstrous wave which was moving towards her she had never seen such a huge wave it was monstrous it's a big one she never saw that kind of thing earlier it carried away her to him that's where that's very important my dear friends here the nature tried to invite them in their dance the wave carried them away their love transpired hume's words it was behind anybody's imagination they overrode the human's love humans are selfish in their love but that bird is and let's see the highlights the poet mohan singh describes the cold nature of hunters he didn't care the bond of the pair shared they acted thoughtlessly and killed the male crane it was a ruthless act the bird killer shot dead the f- male crane when it was flying joyfully they didn't even render him the grim of chance to save himself yeah it was a a cowardly act one can say the helpless female bird flew circling around the death scene how can she enter there when it tried desperately to revive him after they went away a huge wave carried her away to him and tried to invite them in their dance they found solas in the death that's it for today please subscribe our channel davangere tutorials thank you for watching please visit youtube